tip number 71, consider not using auto router. Many people ask me if I use auto router, so the answer is no, I do not use auto router. Some time ago, I, uh, I tried Spectra auto router. At the time, I think it was a really good auto router. I think it exists, it still exists, but I'm not sure what is the best at this moment. Uh, I tried it. I uh, spent like one week setting up all the rules. I mean, like it was quite difficult board with a lot of rules. There were these memory interfaces, so I had to set the rules for for all the groups and uh, the rules between the signals, between the groups and the length matching stuff. So it really took like a week to set up all the rules. And uh, then uh, I hit the auto route button and uh, guess what happened? It started doing layout, yeah. It was doing all the, drawing all the tracks and after a couple of hours, it just stopped and said, this board is not possible to route. Yeah. So I had to do it. <laughs> I know some people, they use auto router. I know maybe it can be, it can be used on some simple boards. Uh, if uh, it does not really matter how the signals are routed. I know it can be maybe used on large board when auto router has some space for for the tracks. But uh, I'm too careful about layout because the boards what we designed, they are very expensive and I really don't want to mess up. So I'm very careful how all the tracks are routed. And also, uh, you know, when uh, when I do placement, I think how all the signals are going to be routed. So when I placing the components, I already know what signals are going to be routed on what layers because we plan the layout ahead. The auto router, it, it doesn't know how I'm planning the layout. It's hard to explain it to it. Uh, also, what uh, maybe what could be useful or when auto router could be useful if you just route uh, some small parts of your PCB. But again, I never tried it because, you know, setting up all the rules and I just route it. It's much easier and simple, uh, like trying auto router to do it. Maybe if there is an uh, auto router which you, which you can really control very well, like uh, you tell the auto router, uh, take all these signals and route them only up to this point. Yeah, not do all the connections, only route it up to this point, or uh, route the connection between this chip and this chip, but place all the vias somewhere here in this area. That could be useful. That could speed up uh, layout. But I'm not sure if this kind of uh, control you can have about the outer routers. Is if yes. Let me know or let us know in the comments of these videos. Uh, and uh, recently I was watching uh, Dave's video. I'm pretty sure every, everybody knows Dave, this one. When uh, he was trying the Altium auto router. You can uh, have a look, you can watch the video. It's uh, kind of interesting. And here you can see, for example, what the auto router did on the on the PCB. Wow, really interesting. So I think based on this, you can you can make your own opinion about uh, how good the auto routers are or how good this ultimate auto router, maybe others are better. I don't know. Tip number 71, consider not using auto router. Why people still do the best job. <laughs>